Hey guys, how are you? It's Arthi. Hope you guys are doing really well. And I'm sorry that I missed several uploads over the last, what was it, three weeks? I lost count actually, but I'm um, sorry. I apologize about that. It just has been so crazy and busy and I just was not able to do a video at all. And so, which is why I am back today and I'm gonna give you a quick review on a Burt's Bees lipstick that I have started using and I am absolutely in love with it. And I hope you guys will go out and try it after you watch this video. But uh, anyway, so I guess just for starters, I have decided that I'm going to try to transition more over to buying more natural or organic makeup as much as I can or if I can. I, you know, I know Whole Foods has a great line of makeup products that are completely organic and also at my local Target, they're starting to feature more products that are along the lines of, you know, organic or, you know, not, not completely organic, but sometimes just, I guess, natural. I don't think natural and organic are exactly the same, but, you know, they're kind of, I guess, sort of going down the same path when they say natural. But because I just have had a few mishaps at the, at, you know, at the store with buying the traditional drugstore stuff and I don't want you know, to buy stuff that has like excess junk and chemicals and all that stuff you know just I don't want that stuff on my skin anymore and also with the eyebrows oh this is another thing I don't want to get that done anymore either I had some mishaps at the eyebrow shop the threading shop I'm sure some of you women go but this one it just seems to be getting thinner and thinner every time I go there's just one girl who just shapes them and just takes all the hair off of this but you know what are you gonna do that's their job right they gonna do what they, I mean they're eyebrow artists so they're gonna do what they need to do oh well but all right well I'm getting off track I'm sorry but all right let me first start by showing you the lipstick and then I'll just go over some of the things that I love about it well I love everything about it all right this is what it looks like and it's from Burt's Bees and I said that before I think yeah this is from Burt's Bees and um, this specific lipstick actually comes in 18 colors because I looked it up online before I did the video and I don't know why but at my local Target store out of the 18 colors they only feature eight I'm not sure why but that's all they had for me to choose from and the color ranges they have well they actually have two they have one that has a bunch of rosy pink colors and then they have another color range which is just with darker colors and one was like purple one was brown they had a wine colored one and then this one is called ruby ripple this is the one that i chose this is kind of in between all of those and i kind of wanted this one over the others because it's a nice basic well I guess basic everyday color it's not too crazy or over the top you know because the other ones were kind of dramatic looking to me and I just didn't think that I wanted that look specifically you know and, and especially if you have like an office job or something or if you're going somewhere where you don't want to look dramatic and be all about the lips this is a good color to consider you know but of course my skin tone is a little bit darker so this one suits me just right but you know you can you know look into all the shades and choose the one that you like the best um, all right so that was the first thing I wanted to go over with you was the color range I actually made notes because I don't want to miss anything and right, now the second thing I'm going to tell you about is the applicator itself I really like the design of this you see like the honeycomb on all four sides I think that's really cute and the nice you know smooth texture whoever designed this they did a very good job with the packaging I just like it a lot and then you take the of course take the cap off and then the way it winds up is so nice it's very easy and smooth because I have owned lipsticks before in the past where they just don't come up easily or you wind them up and then they get stuck and they don't go all the way back down but this one goes up and down with no problem it's very quiet there's no trouble whatsoever it's like really nice and professional and then um, there is like a small sticker here. I wanted to give you guys like just or read off some basic ingredients, but this is completely stuck to the um, the tube. I don't know why, because I think it maybe because of the heat. It's been pretty hot outside. It just it comes off just completely, but you're supposed to be able to like kind of like tear it back and see the ingredients. But I can't 
just um i can't get to it but i do know though or i can tell you that this lipstick is definitely not a matte lipstick it is supposed to give you eight hours of moisturization which it definitely does and that's the um like the basic texture of it it's not you know dry or anything like that now okay speaking of the texture let me show it to you again and i'll tell you like about the actual application process you see how this looks right here if i hold it close to the camera see it's very shiny it's very smooth see how the texture is there is definitely like some kind of a lip balm in there it's not you know matte at all like i had said which is you know very good because sometimes when you wear lipstick you don't want to have to worry about having to wear lip balm first and then put lipstick on top of it because that's kind of a hassle because then it's like you're bringing two separate things together just to make up one and you don't want that all the time you just want one thing that will take care of everything now the way that this lipstick goes on is very excellent a really excellent it does not take a lot of sweeps around like this to deposit the color the color goes on very quickly I actually went around twice just because I wanted the color to be a little bit darker and richer but you could actually just go around with this once and you will definitely see color on your lips I mean if you want to go a second time or a third time you can and then just you know take a, a Kleenex or a tissue and just like pucker up a little bit to just get any excess color off but you know applying it on is not a problem at all I and mean, if you need to do like a quick makeup routine and get this on fast or even just do it in the car if you're on the go you will have no trouble whatsoever and that is always an A plus now uh, let's see what else now as far as like how long it lasts now it does last all day I mean I have had this on for several hours I have not touched it at all and it's still here on my lips I, the only thing is is that I noticed that a little bit was smudging just kind of here in the corners I just had to clean that up but I'm not sure if it's just because of you know me maybe I, because I was talking to some people or maybe I just didn't clean it up in the first place but that was just like a tiny amount just in the corners but it, you know just getting it off was really no big deal I just you know wipe down a little bit with my thumb and it was gone and it was looking fine um, it does smudge a little bit just here though at the top you know if you've got like a little extra on here you might just have to clean up the top of your lips but once you get it all you know taken care of around it you know you won't have to deal with it again it's pretty much good after that and then the next thing is like through eating and drinking <laughs> if it's gonna stand up to like that you know that long-lasting wear that you're looking for well with drinking liquids I did not find it to be a problem because I do drink bottles of water all day long and that was not really an issue I mean it didn't really come off but it did not stand up through you know breakfast lunch and dinner you know if you're gonna go and have a meal with a friend or if you're having you know dinner out somewhere or you know at someone's house you probably will have to reapply the lipstick because it is most definitely going to come off and I guess that's to be expected just because the consistency of it is so smooth that it does move around if you're you know if you're eating and you're chewing and you know so because of that you may or may not like it I mean if that's going to be a situation you're in you might want to go more like with a matte lipstick which will be more dry and will just stay on and I believe that Burt's Bees might make I think they do have a matte lipstick line actually but I'll put a link so you can go and check everything out but yeah but just you know know that if you're going to be you know with somebody if you're gonna be out it's gonna come off a little bit <laughs> if you're gonna be eating anything and that's the only you know issue you don't want it to be a hassle so you know just remember that if that's you know something that you need to know but you know other than that I don't think it's really a problem I mean you could probably just do a quick touch up if necessary and then just you know then move on you'll be perfectly fine but you know so all in all this is a really great lipstick I mean the colors are beautiful the texture is great it's so smooth and soft and it keeps your lips moisturized all day and I just love it so please let me know if you have any Burt's Bees 
lipsticks or if you have this one specifically just give me your thoughts and tell me what you think and maybe I'll try the matte one after this and then I'll give you my review on that also and um, I think that's it for this video and as always thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time and I love you guys okay bye